Well, good morning everybody and welcome to the very final assembly for this year. Um, I hope that everyone is well from reception to year one, to year two, to year three, to year four, to year five and of course a very special mention for our year sixes as this is not only the final assembly for them uh, this year but it's actually their final assembly with our school because of course they will be beginning their new journeys and moving on to their secondary schools in September. So I hope this finds you well wherever you are, whether you are in school this morning watching it or whether you are watching this at home or catching up with it at a later time. I hope everyone is keeping it safe. Now what an extraordinary year. Uh, where it started and how it's ended are almost as if there's two halves to this school year. And I think it's very important that we look back on that this morning and celebrate just what has been achieved and what has been a quite remarkable year in terms of what everyone has been doing. Because this year has not just been about the coronavirus. In fact, this year has been much more about other things that have been going on as well as Historians like to split the uh, history up into two phrases. They call it BC and AD. And of course, AD has been going on now for 2020 years. And BC was for a lot longer before that. But our BC is actually about September and what was happening around that time. Because this actually is a celebration of BC, meaning before coronavirus because lots has happened and I think we really really should take time out now to reflect and celebrate just what had been going on at the school before this change came about. So let's take a look back over the year. Well it started, there we are in September with lots of happy faces as we welcomed our new reception children and you may all be able to look back on that time and remember your first days at school, your first few minutes, your first few hours and how it was all about moving on to something new and starting a big school and being very grown up in the way that you came in. And of course we welcomed you in and your year then began with us. And then within a week we started to celebrate our best of the week children. Those who already started to show brave, enthusiastic, safe and thoughtful. And you may well have one of those certificates that you've been able to celebrate throughout the rest of the year because of course we give those out each week and you may be thinking back to the one that you got and why you got it and what you did to show us best. And then we started to get um, excited about the summer reading challenge from last year because at this point we were holding on to first place and Cookno and Headlands and Western Favour were all chasing us and we were all trying to say come on let's get to the library let's see whether we can keep that number one place but we didn't know then we were just looking forward to it. And then of course our topic started here we've got year three and four launching into their chocolate curriculum and hopefully you look back on that time and you remember how you started to experiment and look at the different things you were doing and everybody's curriculum was starting to take place, your learning was starting to take place and you were all engaged in different things and you can try to look back on that and say what do I remember, what can I remember learning from that time back in September. And then, of course, it was time to welcome the grown-ups who came into the family reading afternoons. And this is a chance to say two things. Well done for all of you who took part in that. And you may remember who you read to and the adult that was reading with you. But also to say a big thank you to all those adults who came in. Because throughout the year, we had lots and lots of different adults coming in to help us with our reading. And this is a chance to say a big thank you, because it really is appreciated. And that was topped off with the mystery reader, when we used to have uh, a guest appearance for somebody who would come in and share a book with the class, and we didn't know who it was going to be, and it was all designed around trying to get our enthusiasm going for reading, because we all know it's such an important skill. And again, this is a chance to say, I hope that you enjoyed it, and you look back on that and remember it, but also to say a big thank you to all the parents and all those adults who took part in the Mystery Reader programme uh, to say a big thank you to you for doing that. 
And then now we've got the year sixes. Um, they'll look back on this now as a time when they were using their ICT and they were making a stop go animation project. Um, and they were starting to build their scenes and craft their stories and then put it all together into a video sequence. And then part way through September, it was now announced that actually, whilst Western Fable had done their best to catch up with us and things had crept onto the board, we came out on top and we were the school that had the most number of children start the challenge and complete it. And it was a wonderful, wonderful assembly when we celebrated that. So a massive thank you to those of you who did it. And I hope, I know there's no competition this year, but I hope you've signed up already starting to do that this year as well. So that was a great thing to celebrate back in September. And then we had our first Roots of Empathy baby. The year ones were introduced to their first baby and they came in, mum and the baby came in and baby Florence started with us. And of course, we were up and running then with our understanding and support for how young children and babies change and how we can help them and what we can learn the things that they're doing. And then the year threes were off to a rugby festival and you might remember throughout the whole of this time all the different sports that you've been doing and all the different activities that you've been a part in. It's not just about the clubs and the competitions but there have been a whole range of these things and you can stop and ask yourself what was I involved in this year, what did I get involved in? And then We've got the year threes and fours then heading off to Cadbury's World as part of their chocolate topic. You may look back on that and remember that trip and that visit to go and find out all about the history of chocolate and how it's put together and the Aztecs and where it all came from. And it's all this learning that's been going on and it's time to step back and say, I remember doing all this. I remember the stuff that I learned while this was all going on. And then we had this launched towards the end of September, we had Magnificent Minds. What was amazing about this is it came from the children. Mrs Drummond, I remember coming to me and the, asking me about it, and the children wrote me a letter to say we'd like to do it, and can we have some space? And then that has been up and running. And what's lovely about this is to see, as usual, the children taking the initiative and coming up with a great idea for something that we can do at school. Now, what's incredible about that is that was just September. That was all happening just in September. And it goes to show just how much happens at our school in one year. And that's a big credit to all of you and to all the teachers and all the adults who work at the school and your mums and dads who support us with all of that work. And then the year moved on because that, as I've just said, was just September. Then we were into thoughtful playtimes, lunch times, playing together, brothers and sisters helping each other out on the playground. And then we saw the year one book buddies with their year fours where they started to share and read. You might remember being part of that and going down to help the younger ones with their reading and the younger ones enjoying having someone else come down and share in that reading with them. And then we introduced yoga this year. So we've had yoga going on, especially when it was wet play times and we couldn't go outside. And then we've got children practicing their yoga skills here in year three. And then it was time for the year five and sixes to get into their science topic and their space topic. And here they are launching their rockets across the playground that they've been building in the classroom. And then of course, as it moved on, we had the gymnastics um, starting to happen. And of course, this is brilliant because PE is not just about games and sport, it's about gymnastics, it's about dance. We've had those things happening as the year moved on. And then we had the year twos and the music, and they were able to perform their little mini concert, um, showing again the musical talents that we have within the school. And of course, the great work that was done by Mrs. Markey and her team in um, trying to cultivate that musical and that musical skill and musicality of the children. And then it was time to move in towards the poppy appeal as usual. You may remember buying the poppies, bringing your money in, purchasing the items to support the poppy fund. And then of course we've got the year five, six children celebrating their golden time and you looking at recycling and making clothes out of recycled uh, materials and then putting on a fashion show as the year went on. 
And then it was time for our second roots of empathy baby. Lily Ray arrived now, so both of them were now in the school of the year ones and getting used to their new teachers, their young baby teachers that were coming to teach them all about empathy. And then we were into the topic, year twos, you might remember creating their rainforest animals and looking at all the different creatures and different animals that exist in the rainforest and you can look back on that learning and think about all that stuff that you did and all those animals you learnt about and how they live and what they do. And then here's year one now, getting ready for their workout for Children Need. Then Children Need came along and of course way before Joe started the lockdown PE we were up and running with him and we were engaging with him and we did that as part of Children in Need. And you can look back on that and think, I remember doing that and raising money to help other children across the country. And then we had the talent show as part of that as well. You may remember taking part in the talent show. What did you do? Did you be brave enough to get up on the stage and show us something that you felt is a talent of yours? And of course, it was a wonderful afternoon as we celebrated all of those skills and talents of the children at the school. And then we launched Lego Club. That got off the ground with Mrs Hill. Suddenly we had a Lego club running after school, great ideas, we've now got a display of all the work that the children have been doing and it's been a wonderful thing to see a new club get up and running as the year moved on. And then it was time for the Life Education Bus. You'll remember going on there, Harold, who became a large part of my assemblies during this lockdown period and all the things that we learned about keeping us safe and keeping us healthy during that time. And then we had the Strictly Come Dancing Squad. Off they went to the Dern Gate to perform their dances, to lots of celebration and clapping and whooping. And again, it's about putting ourselves forward. It's about being brave. It's about being enthusiastic. And what a wonderful evening or morning uh, activity that was. And then we had the Big Big Barn Book Exchange. All the books came in, you were able to take books out again. And we had that wonderful feeling of celebrating books as we moved towards December. And then year three and four, you had the visits from the PCSOs. Northampton Police came in to talk about being safe with you. And you may remember now, looking back on that, and the questions that you asked and the things that you learned during that time. And then it was time to do the recording. Um, time for the Barnville. There's the whole school there recording CD. The teachers, the children, everybody together as we turned the hall into a recording studio. And you may remember the song that you sang and what part we played in putting that CD together. And then, of course, as we reached towards Christmas, it was now time for the pantomime for reception in year one and year two, and you may remember that. While the year threes, fours and fives and sixes, you all headed off to the cinema. And then we had the sewing club, putting stuff together ready for the Christmas bunting and for the Christmas barnacle. And again, it's a celebration of clubs. And then we have the singing stars, the band, and our instrument players all performing as part of it. And again, you may remember your part in that. And the wonderful celebration that was the carnival. And then, of course, we had the Limelight Theatre Club in, doing their dances and their performances. And again, you may be a part of that. And you may look back on that and think, I remember doing that. I remember getting involved in that as well. Then it was time for the Winter Bonanza and there's all the craft making. We've got the Bates and Shippers nail bar that had a wonderful afternoon and of course there was the CD that you could buy as well and that was a wonderful, wonderful way as we headed in towards the Christmas break. And of course it didn't end there because we had our magical visit from Father Christmas who dropped in to share with us what he'd been up to and to maybe even just drop off a little gift for you. And then, to top it off, as a lovely thoughtful end, we've got the Year 6s were given the choice of having sweets or sponsoring animals, and they decided that they would go for sponsoring an animal. And there they all are. And it was a wonderful way to go into the Christmas break, with our thoughtful hats on, our thoughtful being, and a way of showing and caring for other, for other people, in this case supporting a rare species, the jaguar. And then suddenly it was into the new term, January came, and Year 5 and 6 were off to do their Victorian topic and visit Holdenby House. We had the reception children outside collecting lots of things as all part of their topic around natural um, items and finding things in school ground. 
We had year one and two out walking around their local areas and discovering what's been going on around our school. And then the year three fours also took a step back into history and started to look at the Romans. And then on top of that, we had our new house captains join in with the ones that we'd already appointed. So suddenly our team got bigger and there they are with all their roles and responsibilities to putting themselves forward to be part of that. And then we had the group that headed off towards the um, Northampton Town Football Club to take part in all the activities over there, learning circus skills. How little did we know at that point how useful that might be. Lunchtime Chess Club was now up and running. The Year 1 and 2 Art Club was up and running. And you were all taking part where you could in these activities. And then again, it was time for some more musical interlude as the woodwind players performed. Those of you that give up your time to go and learn a musical instrument, such a wonderful talent and a wonderful skill to develop at your age, and then that chance to perform very bravely in front of the school. And then it was time for year three and four to head into their World War II topic. And the year sixes and fives were moving into their volcano topic and the learning was moving on and you were adding more and more knowledge to the things that you had done before. And then of course this came along, March arrived and suddenly we were into World Book Day. Leon and the place in between and that magical, magical performance that we had um, that lit the whole day alive with just wondrous, wonderful awe and wonder as it went on and what a great book and what a great performance we had in terms of understanding that book and celebrating together and all the wonderful work that came out of it. And then on top of that, not only did we have that going on that evening, we had this, um, the band were off to choir were off to the Derngate to perform in Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. And for those of you that took part in that and those of you that got to see it, you'll know it was just an incredible day for those children that got from World Book Day into that, all the way through it, looking with smiles on their faces, looking enthusiastic, and what a wonderful evening it was. So well done, well done indeed to all of those that took part in that. And then we had, moving into March, just after that, we had sport relief. Here's the children starting off their mile. You'll remember doing that. You'll remember getting dressed up and coming in different sporting outfits and raising money for sports relief. And suddenly we'd gone from more book day into that. And all together again, the whole school taking part and bringing us all together as one big, large community. And it didn't stop there. We can then see celebrating fun on a Friday lunchtime as the weather warms up and we had playtimes and you sharing with each other and being kind and thoughtful and looking after each other and staying safe throughout all of this. And then things started to change because as we reached towards March, this virus was starting to get closer and closer and closer to us. And suddenly we realised that school was going to be locked down and all those things that we've been doing was going to be changed. That didn't stop you getting involved in some final things. And here's the year sixes having a final disco break uh, just before we had to say to everybody that it was time to go home. And then it arrived. Suddenly we were given this message, stay at home, protect the NHS and save lives. But that doesn't mean all those things before it didn't happen, they did. And actually we know what happened since then. You carried on being the way that you were being. You carried on showing us best even though you were at home. And actually, all that happened and all that was different is that we just couldn't be together to celebrate it. But we tried to celebrate it, and we still tried to do things that would bring us all together. You got involved in Joe, no longer doing it at school, but now you were doing it in your homes. Mr Chalmers introduced the Daily Read. We've now got lots of you able to join in and hear a daily story. So we tried to bring you all together as best that we could. Lots of you got involved in celebrating the NHS and sending in your pictures and showing us the wonderful things you were doing alongside the learning that we were trying to send home to you as well. And you became creative and you started to think of new things you could do. Some familiar faces, Tomic Tom popped up and you were able to follow him along and do some of the science work at home. And then there were some unfamiliar faces. Here's Captain Tom celebrating his 100th birthday and of course that marvellous feat of walking around his garden and raising a staggering amount of money for the NHS. And actually what you did was you showed us how you could still be best at home. We may not have been together, but what you were able to do was carry on doing all those things that we've always done and 
and showing us just how wonderful and truly committed and what a great part of Standings Barn Primary School people are. And what we showed was this. We showed that we were all in this together. That became a mantra for the country, a way of thinking about how we had to get through this period together. And actually our school epitomised that. We were in this together. From you as the children getting involved in the learning and activities and doing the things that you could do, and the adults and the teachers and the staff at the school supporting you with that. And what we had was a wonderful, wonderful feel of our whole school. As it says there, we couldn't hold hands, we couldn't actually be next to each other, but we were all in this together. And I think it shows real testament to us as a school in what you have achieved at this time. Hopefully, as we get towards September, we'll be able to put some of these things back together and we'll be able to do the things that we were doing, maybe in a slightly different way, back in the school building, just as we did before. But what can't be taken away is what a wonderful year it has been, even though it didn't end with us all being in the school at the same time, because you carried it on and you've been a real credit and I've been massively, massively proud of you all in terms of what you have achieved. And therefore, you really have shown your best. This really has been about my best, it's been about your best, and collectively, it has been about our best. And that's what you need to ask of yourself. We may not have been in the school together, but did I? Did I do my best? And I've got here a lovely poem that really summarises just what has been achieved. The very best me. When I'm sharing and when I'm caring, I know that you can see. I'm being the me I was meant to be. I'm being the very best me. When I'm grateful for things I have and share with those in need, I'm being the me I was meant to be. I'm being the very best me. When I'm a friend to those I meet, I know my friends can see. I'm being the me I was meant to be. I'm being the very best me. When I do things to help the earth, I know the earth can see. I'm being the me I was meant to be. I'm being the very best me. When my heart is full of love for everything I see, I'm being the me I was meant to be. I'm being the very best me. And God is living through me, and love is living through me, and joy is living through me, and peace is living through me, and kindness is living through me. And I think what you've all shown is that we've shown that caring, thoughtful side throughout this. We've shown a brave attitude to coping with what the world has thrown at us and the things we've had to do. And you've shown an enthusiastic side as you try to carry on with your learning and do the best that you can do. And what you have shown is the very best of what you are and being the very best of who you can be. And so we may not end this year together, but we can certainly celebrate it together. We can certainly remember it together and all those wondrous things that you have achieved. And in that, we will then look forward to September where we may well be saying goodbye to our year sixes. In fact, we have to say goodbye. There isn't a choice there. They have to move on to year seven. And we, the rest of us, will carry on being the very best me's that we can be. And we will pick up as best as we can as we get back into our school building and start to carry on with the things that we used to do. But until that time, well done for this year. It's been a very, very different, different and unique year, but you have coped with it admirably. Well done to everybody, and well done for carrying on with all the things that you needed to do. Now is the time to have a great summer, enjoy some rest, recoup, get your batteries refreshed, and then we will go on to have yet another fantastic year in September. So have a great week everyone this week and I think this time it is time to say that we will focus on all of these. It's time to show that we've been brave, it's time to show that we've been enthusiastic, it's time to show that we've been safe and it's time to show that we've been thoughtful because you really have been the best of who you can be. So with that message take care everybody, have a wonderful summer and I will see most of you back in September.